Hey everyone, welcome to How Ain't As Rolls. I'm on my way into the Dollar Tree because it is time to do some stocking up. You heard me, stocking up at the Dollar Tree. Let's go. Ooh, so I might get some of something like this. Yep, these are great for to-go containers, like to travel with food. Yep. So I've been pleasantly surprised with these brooms and these little, you have to buy the, the system. So one of these and one of these, but maybe I want to get one of these for like the fans. I think it's more for the floors, but hmm. Let me think on that. Can't forget about all the snacks. Okay, I'm back from the Dollar Tree and it looks like I have a grocery haul. It is massive for Dollar Tree for me to walk out with this much. So thank goodness the carts are small because I could have kept going and I could have kept going. So my goal is just to do some stocking up on things that we're gonna be using, things that are gonna be cleaning with, uh, things that I'm gonna be disposing of anyway. So might as well get them from the Dollar Tree and I'll show you some are really like great brands, name brands even. And uh, let us let me show you what I got. So I did show you that I bought these containers, perfect for sending some Christmas cookies to our neighbors, you know, sending um, some Thanksgiving leftovers. Uh, hopefully with Isaiah, we'll take some up to him. Uh, so this is gonna be perfect. We used to have a really large container of these for my husband's work that he just, they, they gave him. And it lasted so long and it was like perfect. So I'm so happy to see that the Dollar Tree had these. Okay, so every time I'm going grocery shopping or any shopping, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of toilet paper. So $3 right here, Scott brand. Those are all, that's a name brand product. So um, yes, they are a little like on the, the, the smaller side, like shorter side, and those will probably be used fairly quickly or, or more quick than some of the bigger uh, rolls that we tend to buy. But I'm okay with that because this is great for our downstairs bathroom where you know people are just coming and going and so these toilet papers will be perfect now the only thing i was a little bummed about that they didn't have that they always have was bleach i like to buy bleach just to keep it in um my cleaning arsenal uh especially for the toilets but they did have this cleaner so i bought two of them and it had is a cleaner with bleach so i'll use that for the toilets this time around but um this will be good to have upstairs as well, just to clean, or just to clean all of the, the sinks and the toilets, right? So let me know down below if you use bleach when you're trying to get a nice white uh, uh, sink or toilet or anything like that. Uh, I know the smell can be a little bit extra, <laughs> open a window, but um, for me, I just feel like it gets really clean that way. I picked up this, their brand of Drano. We have a couple of slow sinks. I probably should take care of that. But in the meantime, I just thought maybe having a couple of these on hand wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. So um, we'll just go ahead and, and I'll try them out. I'll let you know if I like them or not. They, they seem to be um, an off brand, so we will see how that, but it was only $2. Let's keep going. Whoa, I have a lot of snacks and treats here. So I bought some things for my class at church. So I picked up these little Twixes that they I could give out and I like to give them a, a snack to have while I'm teaching the lesson. So I picked up a couple of these little bags of uh, pretzels. And then these are basically all of the treats that we really like. So these are those sour watermelons. I love them. And the kids really do like the red vines. Let me know down below if these are things that you like as well. Paul 
We love the hot tamales. Woohoo! And I just like to always have one of these here. Just, I don't know, maybe it's more of like a nostalgic thing because I used to have those when I was little. And it's not like they're my absolute favorite, 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 but if I open them up, they're usually gone. And then I saw these and I thought I knew Ezra would like these ones. These mint uh, candy puffs, kind of like an after dinner mint, I'm hoping, um, but they look so good. All right, I just picked up another box of tissue. I like to just have a, a one, at least one on extra on hand. I also picked up some shampoos and some body washes. So this one is more for me, these daily clarifying. I did get three of them. So with my gray hair, um, the maintenance on it is purple shampoo. And in between purple shampoos is daily clarifying sh uh, shampoos. So to get all that gunk out of the coloring. So, um, so this is, I do probably twice, and then I'll do the third wash is a purple shampoo, which I'll be buying some very soon because I want to have an extra one on hand as well. So this one is good, Suave. I use lots of Suave products. Um, here is for the boys at my house. I got um, the men's shampoo. Now we do also like, um, uh, the boys like the coconut one. I think it's called like tropical coconut. So between this one, this one smells really good. So yeah. And then I know Jonas used this. I got a few of these. Uh, he liked this one. He told me it's like a sport smell um, body wash, but I guess he could, I was looking at it and you could use it for all of it, like hair, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So <laughs> Maybe I didn't have to buy the other ones, but that's okay. So he can use this as a body wash. He already likes it. It has a good smell. Okay, my favorite, favorite glass cleaner comes out as a foam spray. So if you can find a foam spray glass cleaner, it's gonna be so good. And this one to me at the Dollar Tree smells like fruity cereal. Is that strange? It doesn't even say like it has fruit smelling it just says streak free so but it smells like fruit loops i don't i'm just telling you <laughs> i'm weird <laughs> all right i picked up a couple of these antibacterials um cleaners i got it more like for mopping but then after thinking about it i'm gonna be using them in glass bottles as a cleaner for the restrooms as well so these were um i got two these were highly recommended by Catherine from do it on a dime so of course i had to go and get some um and so this will be perfect for my storage just to kind of keep them on hand and then i picked up a few of these these are the under the rim or under the toilet, the rims to clean them, uh, to clean the bowls. And I really liked it. I, I bought one not too long ago, wanted to give it a try. And I, I think it's just because of how it's positioned. I think that's probably why, but I really liked it. So that is going to go also in my cleaning arsenal. So we're getting close to almost being done. Let me know if so far, if there are things here that you already buy on the regular and didn't even know they were at the Dollar Tree. So I'd be curious. So let me show you what else I got. Okay, so look at these Betty Crocker gingerbread cookies. So I can't wait to have these with the boys. We can make them and have some of this with it. I picked up some Swiss Miss hot chocolates. We, like you can see back here, um, is just our little cocoa area. So we'll just have that. It's so good. And then just replenish the packets. And it's just really the way to go if it will ever get cold here. <laughs> it what We were starting to see a dip in temperature. So that's why I got all the hot chocolate ready. But it's like 80 degrees and it's near Thanksgiving. I think it's got to be probably one of the warmer uh, Novembers on record for, for me to remember in this area. So eventually we'll get to all the hot chocolate and the the baked cookie goods <laughs> did buy a few of these brownies i love having these on hand um i will buy these at walmart or any grocery store um i just like the chewy fudge ones and especially like the family size ones those are my favorite so we will have these in um i have these in my food storage so that way if you know friends are like hey 
let's meet over at so-and-so's house. I'm like, I'll bring a dessert, pull it all out, add some chocolate chips or some M&Ms, and it is special. So I'm ready to go, right, with some quick dessert ideas. Um, I also bought a few of these Goya uh, pinto beans. They are one of my favorites. I'm usually the one who eats only beans in my house, um, unless Isaiah is here, which maybe he'll be here soon. Yay! Um, but these will be good to have in my food storage. And st so this is like two lunches for me. So I, I like them. I just picked up some of these insulated cups. I thought maybe we could use them. And I picked up just some more loofahs. I bought some toothpaste just for Ezra that has Batman on it. I told them about this. I'm like, I got you a couple of things. So, and then I just picked up some other Crest uh, toothpaste as well, just to try to stock up. I also just picked up some disposable razors. Um, I needed some more razors, so I like using the men's ones. Um, and these ones, you know, they don't have to last forever. And thank goodness. <laughs> um, but then I just needed to get some on hand. I picked up a couple of these, uh, mostly for Jonas because of his braces. He just likes to have these um, just to clean in between. They're like essential for braces. And then I got this for Ezra. I thought he could put this next to his bed and use it as a night light. So it'll, it's pretty bright from what I... Let's see, shall we? Well, it doesn't have batteries in it, but I bought so many triple A's. So I bought four pack or three packs of triple A's and one pack of double A's. So I just wanna keep these on hand, especially with this time of year. Um, you just don't know what kind of gifts or what kind of needs um, certain uh, presents will need with batteries. So it's good to have them on hand but I'm gonna show you what how bright this is. All right, ready? Wow, I mean, I, I know you can't really see it, but it's really bright for a nightlight. And I just think having this on his bunk bed would make it really, really nice. So they could just leave the lights turned off and then he could just have this on. It's pretty bright. Ooh, kind of like a little fun thing, especially if you're giving out gifts or if you're making a little present for a grandson, granddaughter, grandchildren, um, or your own children. These are good for like friends who read or do all that. So this is a good one. Let's keep going, we're near the end. All right, I picked up some Q-tips. We always could use these. So these are perfect for food storage, just to keep them with, the, with your personal hygiene. I love these um, sponges. So they're great for cleaning on the sink and I mean, they're 50 cents each. I mean, so I can just get rid of them when I feel like they need to be getting rid of. <laughs> um, I've also picked up four of these bounces. So I, this is the brand that I use for my dryer sheets. And even though it's probably more cost effective to just go to a store, um, especially Costco, what I'm gonna do is just, cause we're getting kind of lower, I'm just gonna keep these on hand. Plus when my son comes, I'm gonna send him home with one of these. So this will be good for his little goodie bag. <laughs> I also bought a couple of these. I'm gonna keep them in the car, the little first aid portable packs. I love that it has, oh, it does have some alcohol swabs in here and um, it has all these different band-aids. So these are just gonna be good to have in the car. Maybe put it in a little plastic container. Oh, maybe this one. So I bought a couple packs of these for meals. Um, this is perfect to put like, you know, your essentials, maybe some emergency supply, and then just keep it in my, I have a deeper console in between the car seats. So this might fit perfectly in there. So, um, but yeah, if not, they're good for lunches and for putting up left, putting together leftovers for the holidays. And I just picked up some alcohol for our first aid kits. And I bought a few more of these. These are Epsom salts with lavender. This is the only place that I like to buy them um, because I feel like they're so overpriced at other stores. So um, Epsom salts just super good for the aches and jo the achy joints. Take a nice bath and enjoy the scent. It is so good. All right, 
all of this came out to $84. So massive spending at the Dollar Tree for sure. And I'm so glad that I have a, ne a nearby Dollar Tree that I can pick up all of this stuff, stuff we're gonna use. Let me know down below if you are putting a little, a couple extra things. Um, you doesn't, it doesn't require lots of spending, you know, to get this, but if you have like an extra $5, you can buy a few things from the Dollar Tree and start building up that emergency supply. So thanks so much for going with me to the Dollar Tree. I really appreciate you all and I'm grateful for you to visit the channel and have a wonderful day, Rollers. Stick around, you just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye everyone.